Hello, welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa. This is Safi. Hi. And today we are going to react to the fifth episode from Ooh. The Fall of the House of Usher. Before we start, we want to tell you that our other reactions are already available on my Patreon, so mm -hmm. you can get early access there. And you can also see our full reactions to the episodes. <laughs> also check out Safi's YouTube channel. They react to horror, so yes. very much in team. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, we just had the episode with the black cat. Mm -hmm. And this episode was called, do you remember? Uh, Telltale Heart or something. Yeah. So sticking with the heart theme, I have a feeling whose episode this is going to be. Hannah, no. Vic. And I, yeah. And yeah. I, um, I'm not excited for this one. No, same. Oh. But at the same time, I have to say, I don't feel that connected to her character as I did in Blind Manor. Me neither. But I'm just like, you're abusing monkeys. True. <laughs> But like it's Hannah, it's so, Hannah, so it's okay. No. <laughs> so she can abuse any monkey she wants. It's no, Hannah. but she's she's everything. I love her. No, but to be fair, if I look at all the characters, I don't really feel like a deeper connection to anyone. No. So me I'm not neither. too sad about the deaths. Like, of course, it's uh -huh. pretty heavy that it keeps happening. But yeah, no, me neither. Like, I'm not really connecting to any of them. No. Like maybe Juno. I think she's cool, but. Like, she's cool, but there's no connection either. No. Maybe it's because we know they're all gonna die. Yeah, so, so it's you like... don't get emotionally yeah, invested. exactly. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason. Yeah, true. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna react to this episode now. So, um, let's go. Let's go. Haunting of House Usher. Hill House Usher <laughs> Hill Bly. Usher House Bly. <laughs> Mansion. Mansion. <gasps> Young Roderick. I feel like you were gonna say young blood. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Carla? Yes. But she's a statue now. No, that's a Carla. You're looking what? Daisy's <laughs> They're not considered bad omens in every culture, though. A lot They're of They're considered good omens in some of them. ravens mm. bring good fortune. <laughs> See how your line splits here? Your life will take a complete change of course. Oh, spiritual Carla. <laughs> oh, but they they do something fucked up tonight. Oh, yeah, true. Or maybe that's not the same night. No, he could just have gone back there. Because it doesn't look like a New Year's party anymore. No. Oh, well. Oh, never mind. It She's is. looking the same. The thing is, Roderick just always look the, looks the same, so. Yeah, he's so bland. You're bland, Roderick. You're not bland, Carla. I love you. <laughs> make a friend. Kiss her as the ball drops. Make sure she'll remember. I really wonder what they did. Yeah, I still feel like they dug up bodies. Ball's gonna drop. You decide on your resolution. You already asked us that. Imagine Change spending your New Year's Eve with Carla Tuccino. A dream. <laughs> now that's a good omen for a New Year. Mm. You strike me as a queen without a crown. How about this? You could be either rich or famous. Which? Rich. <laughs> okay. What do you do with your life? I never let a man have power over me, and I figure out how to live forever. Slay Boss. queen. Firework time. Yeah. Ooh. New Year's in these shows are never a good sign. No. Remember, remember. the engagement. Yep. Ooh. And then the aftermath. Oh, are they about to kiss right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gay <Game> panic. <laughs> I am so oh jealous. Same. <laughs> I wish it were me for real. The way I was constantly like, I feel a tension here, but there's probably nothing gonna happen. But I was hoping they would kiss, but mm -hmm. I knew it was not gonna happen, and then it happened. Yeah. So there goes my kiss of death but theory. Then. Yeah. yeah. Madeline is still alive, no, or so they say. Mm. You're not at home with Annabelle Lee. You're locking lips with some other woman at a bar. So he was already I'll together with her, her there. Yeah. With kids, what probably. Yeah. Do? Maybe that's why she left him. But then where did she go? Yeah, I think she died. I think Madeline's gonna be behind that. Like, she is gonna be a bigger part of this all. The picture? <laughs> ah, so this is the first funeral. Yep. Oh, we haven't seen this. Oh, but there were so little people at the second funeral. Yep. Madeline wearing the sunglasses inside. <laughs> she is so cool. Our visions never mm. to vanish. Oh. No drops from the grass. Oh, that's the thing that was in the car. Oh yeah, like the jester yeah. clown. I wonder what Just they did the in order for like no one to show up at the other funeral. Mm -hmm. I just kind of assumed they got murdered. <laughs> that's so random. I mean Oh, oh, oh they're all there! 
That's cool. Fuck no, bartender. This is a private conversation. And who's the guy? With our dates. Nothing for that. <laughs> Some random bald dude. This is yeah. Tony. Yeah, this is huh. Tony. Tony. This is who isn't being forthcoming. Mine did. And oh, they all have bodyguards. Yeah, I was going to say. Sure and look, I, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye. We have to pull together now, don't we? She might be right. Do you remember when they showed up? The littles, I mean. Yeah, they and really went from young up. to old. <sighs> How annoyed we were. Yeah. Leo tried to fill his dad hole with the love of his fans. Dad hole. If he went out to check the fucking <laughs> mail, he'd end up balls being. I do like him actually. Dad yeah. Hole. That is unexpected. He's, He's a bit of a loser in the other seasons. My mother, a single nurse, I don't want to hear how hard it was being stuck in the same house as a legendary Annabelle Lee. Only one he ever thought to marry. Legendary. Juno. No, you don't talk about the junkie to me. Look, we're sorry. They really hate her. Dr. Yeah. Dove off of her mother into a sea of strange pussy. For all we know, there are three more coming to take their place. I said it. Yeah, dad really loves the uh, heart squeezer. For some reason. Marcus Camille dug up on you before she died. <sighs> I'm kidding the ashes one by one. Guess who's next? Okie dokie. <laughs> <I thought we were laughs> the way that scared her. Yeah. Froderick and Madeleine, just like Dad and Mads, side by side, playing red fucking rubber, trying to get me to. I don't need to break through. Oh, fuck off, Ray Bands. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like her again. Her. Just see, she's, she's really mean, yeah, to the bastards indeed. I'm just like, like I said in the previous episode, they're so fucking rich. Why do you care if there's one more person in the will? Exactly. She's just jealous. Like, get over yourself. You can buy a world. Yeah. Like, what else do you want to buy in the universe? <laughs> Two blinks. She said yes. Did you miss me? Am I better at bowling than Dan? Her functioning. To ask the, the questions Leave her alone. Asking. She's not a magic eight ball, honey. I'm gonna take I don't think she's bothering her. I, I think Maury's is excited to talk to her. No, I mean Maury. We have everything we need at home. Ease. Most patients in her condition are not industry royalty. Will put your best bed to shame. Dad. It's true. She's in no protection. Maybe she ask her what she wants? Yeah. Like the mom? Mm. I don't think she you can think talk though, right? She can say yes and no with her eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Do you want to come home? And if she blinks and wants? No. <laughs> Where would you like to go? And she's just like, honey. <laughs> Don't you want to come home? Aww. See? She doesn't want to go home. Me. I gotta learn from the office that you literally booked me for surgery next oh, week. Who's the candidate? Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's Carla. I love that we're just- we keep calling her Carla and we're like halfway oh, through the season. <laughs> She will always be calling her. <laughs> At least we're not calling her Olivia. <laughs> yeah, true. That would be weird. I mean, we are calling her Hannah, though. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> There's no way you could have gotten clearance for this. No, 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 okay. no, 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 you did. What did you do? Tell Ow. me that my signature isn't on falsified I mean, this data. Is the report are oh, fine. Tell me right now. Oh, fucking, don't be a fucking child. Damn. Shit, how you work. Yeah. No. Usher money came rolling into your clinic. Yeah, I think I'm out. I get out? that. <laughs> yeah. She's mean. Right, She's forging of... forgeries. How do you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Making <laughs> false <laughs> signatures. Yeah. <laughs> don't do this. Baby, please don't do this. You're not who I thought you were. Because mm. I think. And I don't fucking care if you sue me or you rip me apart. You ushers. You're all fucking monsters. Honestly, tell him. Yeah, for real. I, it's really angry nice. issue. Mm -hmm. just, just look, I'm, I'm sorry. He's just call me back. Is it Carla time? Huh. No. <laughs> Doesn't she have to like cancel the surgery now? Yeah, I guess. Or she's doing it herself. Yeah. Oh my, you didn't oh. take up smoking, did you? It's just chirp and weird, sorry. I'm just making the rounds, checking out my ducklings. <laughs> ducklings. That's cute. <laughs> Do you hear that? Human study. There is like and a little squeaky. Yeah, like a rat Come or something. I don't know. It's too it's like sure. repetitive. And yeah. like the exact same I tone to be a rat. Plus we just had that animal, so I don't think we'll get another one right now. Yeah, well I mean, I think this still has something to do with the monkeys or not. Maybe, but the monkeys were reserved for Camille. <laughs> yeah, true. I like that um, 
their deaths, except for Prospero, they don't necessarily have to do anything with the character. You would you know, assume that Fig would die by the, the apes. Reaper. Yeah. Prospero died doing Love what he loved, so. <laughs> but that's the only one. Having an orgy. <laughs> yeah. You could be anywhere doing anything. You know what they are. Why do you do this? I wouldn't be where I am today without Roder Garcia. I also want to know more about him. I was told these deaths were accidental. We are still investigating, Your Honor. Three dead bodies in a week, Mr. Tupin. Oh, oh what's in the more. background? It's like a face. I don't, yeah. I'm not sure if it is one though. I don't know. I think it's. I don't, know. I don't think it's a face. Oh, I keep looking everywhere in the background, just like Hill House. Yeah, Hill House really oh, thought impressed. me that. Mm -hmm. Watching you shit on your principles would have been worth every fucking penny. Fuck you. Drag me, you fucking honey badger. We finally got you off your white horse. I shouldn't have pointed at the kids. If I thought for a moment they'd start dying. Easy there. You're right. I pointed at the kids. Figured it'd stir you all up. Maybe even pitch you against each other. So there oh, wasn't an informant? Each other a lot. Could finally I guess crack not. The fortress. I didn't imagine for a moment the kids would start dying. Mm. He was behind it all. I in a yeah. million years. Why, if it weren't for you, they would all still be alive today. What the hell? I kept thinking, like, but who can it be? And... Oh, the heart. Ew. That's nasty. It's nasty. Uh-oh, here she comes. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. So she got the heart? Ooh, yeah. They just put like the wrong heart in her. And it went horribly wrong. I already noticed that's gotta be fucked up. Mm -hmm. I do for some reason expect it to be less bad than the rest. Yeah, less brutal. It's just yeah, like exactly. more fucked up, but yeah. not as brutal. Yeah. I have to say, I don't like that there's three gone already. And I hoped they would come back more. Because I am missing Kate, and I'm even missing the other two characters already. Just a little bit, yeah. yeah. And it'll change everything. It's just like, every time there's TV shows about families with a lot of children, I'm always so invested, like, don't do that in real life. But when it's a TV show, I'm just like, just the connections between the siblings and all, it's just so interesting to me. Yeah, exactly. Well, that is forward thinking of you. Not many men want to listen to me talk about tech for half an hour. Oh, I doubt that. Maybe not the radio version, anyway. Mm. To answer any questions you might have. In the morning, how do you take your morning coffee? That's top of mind for me right now. In solitude. Huh. This is your company? Yes. Why would a woman want to run her own company? Same reason a man would. Yeah, I get it, but I mean, you could be doing more sitting at that desk outside my door. A secretary can't build you an algorithm to triple yeah, your yeah, sales. Yeah. I think you're Stupid. the first person to walk in here with <laughs> Stupid, a dumb pitch. man. Stupid misogynism. <laughs> I'm not sure why you're talking to me this way. Well, take a guess, sweetheart. You're a pretty smart girl. Like, this is fiction, but I love that it's literally how it used to go, and men are still like, what do you mean women don't get treated the same way? <laughs> like, they're so dumb. We get paid less. <laughs> yeah, literally. Work, and we yeah. paid a fucking pink tax. <laughs> so you figured you'd humiliate me? I don't need to. Maybe she kills him and takes over the company. Oh, I would like that. Me too. And you're the go-to gossip around here for decades. You two are an office fairy tale. Longfellow knocks up his secretary. I worked for your father. I knew your mother, and she was a great secretary. She's Wait. Secretary. Yeah, I think the guy yeah. in the beginning, that Is was that their, their dad. dad? Yeah, I kind of realized that after, yeah, yeah, when I was editing. <laughs> I think it was clear, but I think we were talking <laughs> through it. I mean, it did give me give me a bit of a Joker feeling, his mom, in the actual yeah, Joker movie, yeah, and then the rich guy. I'm actually on your side. You and Roderick. I'm helping. Ask him. Don't fuck with me, Madeline. Either of you. Do not... Fuck with me. Fuck me. No, that's fine. Hell, you'll climb that ladder fast. Women, they can climb on their backs. Knees. I think she will kill him. World's unfair. That I would kill him works. if someone said that to me. Yeah, because she looks interested. Yeah, she's like, ah, oh, I have an idea. Yeah, I don't think Fuck she's like taking me, his, Madeline, his shit though. No, me. it's Madeline, she won't. As she should. No, exactly. <laughs> Same way you went in there in the first place. Now I know we're up against it. It's not much. Testosterone, hubris, aftershave. The aftershave <laughs> showers. <laughs> don't misjudge him, he's misjudged you. Don't make the same mistake. Used to make my blood boil. So they're kind of on the same but side now? I, now? Get it. I guess, yeah. So, so what are we looking at? Orla everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, background? 
Oh. There's that in the window. I think it's just the flesh. No, there was like a person, I think. Oh. But wasn't no the picture first like her and with the older cat things. in the shelter? Really Maybe he thought he took that or something? Nuts. Although I'm not I, I'm not remembering a different picture, yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, we saw a picture with her and the cat, but I think it was the, the older cat. Now it's a kitten, right? Don't it was a rat. Don't oh, was it a rat? Yeah. I thought it was a cat. <laughs> no, oh, no, no. no. <laughs> Oops. Do you remember? Of course I remember. Can you remember that bar? I mean, you'd remember if you kissed Carla Cicino. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I remember. It's like we the only drunk. thing you would remember. Yeah. And since we both sworn to never discuss that fucking night again, I honestly, I don't know what you're talking about. You're saying that imaginary bartender at a back hasn't aged a day. But she talks to him as well. Why does he not remember that? that he does remember. Well, he's just gaslighting. Bar's long gone now. I already checked, but I know. I'm right. My brother likes to stick his dick into anything that moves. You've got new bastards popping up like new smartphones. He's crazy and wants to be first in line. Oh. Text me the location of the bar where it used to be anyway. I'll go from there. I'll return with a receipt. Bim Reaper on his way. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to be an important person. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> it's, it's about being the first. That's where I get scared. To talk to Dr. Ruiz. I'm sorry. What's more important to you? Being famous or saving lives? You've always dreamed about one of those. Ever think the balance was off in that equation? As a scientist, I mean. I'd kind of like to hear what she has to say about it. Yeah, how are they even gonna do the surgery? I have no clue. I'm also really wondering how it's gonna it's twist okay, it's so piece. that Carla doesn't get the surgery. Mm. But Vic yeah. does. Yeah. Because she has to have had you know the, the surgery. Operate? That's you, in a nutshell. Creepy You're so Carla. out of touch with your human. Don't you hear that? Do have Dr. Ruiz give me a call. And if she says I should do this, I'll do it. I really wonder what it is. Uh huh. It sounds like scraping. It's in the walls again. Every time the phone rings, I think it's you, and then every time it's not again. Please, Alec. I love you. I will give you anything you want. Just name your price. Hmm. It also kind of sounds like birds. Yeah, a little bit. Also, Vic wears the coolest clothes. Yeah, true. Style oh, icon. <laughs> And then there's he with his cocky pants. Yeah. <laughs> he is such a dad. Mm -hmm. Like the most. <laughs> yep. Although the competition in family is not hard. No. Between like Leo Prospero. <laughs> yeah, true. And like his own dad. But he's old. You understand who we are in the world, don't you? Do you know that I've had 11 personal death threats since I turned 30? Someone once mailed me a bullet with my name etched in the casing. Out of girl. You've got to be smart. You have to realize. I really thought in the me. beginning that he was just going to play an asshole anyone. again, but... Yeah, yeah, or at least, like, just a loser. Mother. Yeah, exactly. Now I'm just kind of fine you with him. Yeah. Lied. Oh yeah, he was really he an asshole in Blind Manor, wasn't he? Yeah. Girl. Your own mother who lied. It was the Obi-Wan accent, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> so we can all start to heal. <sighs> yes. He's gonna get into the phone eventually, I think. Maybe in his episode. Yeah, probably. That is a really cool sweater. I love that. Ugh. Is that Tammy? Yeah. <laughs> I barely recognize her. Those glasses are bigger than her face. <laughs> yeah. Ma'am? Oh, Carla? Keep it down. I'm trying to work. I didn't talk to anyone. Jesus, Tim. Did you just fall asleep in mid sentence? No. No. <laughs> I haven't seen you sleep in like, I mean, it's been a fucking long time, Tammy. Like horror movie long. Well, Billy boy, I guess that's why you're in front of the camera and not me. I'm sorry, Bill. Just who do you think you are in this? You are a face. You're not a mouthpiece. So just smile and she shut is the so fuck up. mean. Mm -hmm. If you try to tell me what to do with my business when we're good, we were right about business. not liking her. <laughs> that's cute. Let's just finally say it. You. We're selected. Baby, we met at VidCon. Do you think that was an accident? I had a list. <sighs> it was oh my god. And Yogi Johan. You are just trying to hurt me. I can easily replace you. I'll just find another fitness guru with a hot ass and a snappy slogan. Jeez. Wow. 
I would leave right at this point. Yeah. Can't wait till she dies. Next episode. <laughs> There, saw you two taking a walk in the park this afternoon. That was you, you psycho. I was walking with you. Fucking some whore. You are a fucking mascot. And don't forget, I own the built name now. You are losing it, honey. The goddamn hookers. That was always you. And I always mm. fucking hated it. There never were it. other women. Or does he mean that he only he did it for her? I don't know. It sounds like they were just never there. Like, it was always her. Mm, I don't know. I, I think I more take it as, like, that was always y you who wanted you this. Be enjoying this. Maybe. Some because then he would also know that she's fucking crazy, right? If she saw other girls who yeah, sure. weren't there. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway. Yeah, honestly, at this point. No. Fuck you too. Why does he keep looking at that wall? What is that? Bastard, like she said. Maybe it's nothing. Where Maybe is he I'm now? I'm not even entirely sure. Looks like a warehouse or something. Yeah. Maybe I know what's actually happening. Maybe that's here. the basement that he keeps this bringing up. Metal. This crazy in bullshit here? is right. Ooh. Maybe I know how to stop. If that's the basement, then I think this is a solitary. Yep. Take them five at a time. You'll go to sleep on the chair. Won't feel a thing. Of course, not the best look for your product. <laughs> Call Drogo, enter the room. <laughs> Remember Call Drogo, this is him now. <laughs> Feel old yet. <laughs> yeah. But is this like now or later? Like when yeah, the three now, of them yeah. died? Yeah. No, I would also be too scared to kill myself. Yeah. Right? Oh, cool. What is happening right now? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is cool though. So it's not real. It's fake. Yeah. He's imagining a lot of stuff. Yeah. So hard. Or maybe he's just also dead. Ten seconds. You save them all. <sighs> so what is he implying? That if he dies, the children are safe? Oh. Yeah, it seems like it. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Yeah. You turn it down. Hannah House. Hannah House. <laughs> Haunting of Hannah House. Hannah Residency. <laughs> or just residence, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get to the point. I'm sorry. You and your brothers, I want to apologize for turning you kids against one another. I wanted to make you stronger. I was wrong. Okay, and character progress. Okay. I may need your work more than you know. I am not strong. And your work, it can make mm. a big difference. He wants the hard thing. So I am here. I'm sorry. Vic, can you just turn the music off? I'm trying to, trying to talk with you. Oh, well, no, I'd very much rather not. Oh, because she keeps hearing the... Is, um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If I turn it up, oh, look, I'll show you. Maybe you can you can help me fix it. See? It's just loud. I mean, do you, do you hear that? I can't hear it. Yeah, I can hear it. He's lying. Mm -hmm. What is that? I can I actually can hear it. it. Yeah. So much to me. What? Is that the... Carla. No, I think the girlfriend. Yeah, right? I think the... Al? Rui. And I don't fucking care what is this really happening? Or you rip me apart. I think yeah! she's hallucinating. Hallucin <gasps> Whoa, what the hell? <gasps> oh god! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was only there. That's all I did. I was just waiting. Oh god. Oh, okay. So then she just kept calling her, but she was dead already. Oh no. What Ooh, the hell? I got hell? chills. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. She's still alive. Too. Yeah. Have you never heard a woman getting eaten out before? Oh. Fuck off your pub. I'll have you replaced with someone less cringe. This was an accident. This was an accident, you hear me? Just that you're gonna tell out. Oh, I, her eyes. I can't look at it. No. It's so disgusting. It looks like she's. I think she's actually dead now. But she looked brain dead earlier. Yeah. And it just threw me that to that one scene in American Horror Story called. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Hmm. Oh, I forgot I killed my girlfriends. Or for gore. For gore. <laughs> huh? What? Wait, Did she put the heart in herself? I think she may have put it in her girlfriend first. 
Because didn't she say, like, it kept beating even if you're, like, supposed to die? Something along those lines? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. She put it in the girlfriend. Ooh. Oh! To keep her alive. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh no, is she gonna be some kind of monster? Oh my god! Ooh. <gasps> Ew! <gasps> I mean, the heart's still beating, but at what cost? Bro. No. Wait. Um, oh no. She's not being a team player, but you see, you see, it works. She's still alive to her. Like, she's mm -hmm. imagining you're, her alive. You're, you're fully funded. Let's just get out of here. Not until she apologizes. Not until she promises. She's quite dead. Isn't she? That would explain it, wouldn't it? It's oh, it's the heart. She's just pumping it. I'm so sorry. I can fix it. No, no. Fix it. No, no, no. 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 Uh-oh. You know, is she just jumped? Is he oh, imagining this? Yeah, this is not real. Because she she wouldn't no, know that he wanted no. to jump. Success is everything. I don't know what's real and what's not anymore. What the hell? Daddy. But then how did the heart get in her? I don't think it's real, is it? Is it? What? what? Ah! I didn't think it was over already. I thought it was like... I thought that dad was imagining it and then after yeah. we would see like her real death. Yeah. I was also just super convinced that the heart was in her because in the flash forward to now, like in mm -hmm. the future, you could see the heart just pounding inside of her yeah. through the chest. What the hell? Oh, I, this was confusing. Yeah, I'm a little confused by this. Same. Ugh, you can still hear the sound. Ah, uh, don't like that. No. Okay, let's pause this. Yeah. <laughs> this was indeed a rat. You're right, but I think it was the same picture indeed. Yeah. It was the same picture as where she was holding the cat, uh -huh. and he was just imagining it wrong. I don't remember the picture with the cat, though. Like, I know I've seen it, but that's it. Okay, maybe I can read the story again? Mm -hmm. and the story begins with the narrator defending his sanity, explaining that he is not mad, but rather has heightened senses. He claims that his ability to hear sounds from heaven and hell led him to develop an obsession with an old man's eye. The old man with whom the narrator lives has a clouded, pale, blue, vulture-like eye, which distresses and manipulates the narrator so much. I'm a little confused by this already. Yeah, same. Driven to madness by the eye, the narrator decides to kill the old man. Each night, for seven consecutive nights, he stealthily enters the, ma the old man's room, but the eye remains closed, preventing him from acting. On the eighth night, however, the old man awakens and senses a presence in the room. Despite the narrator's efforts to remain hidden, he accidentally makes a noise, causing the old man to wake fully. Terrified, the narrator waits in the dark until the old man's fear subsides. When a single ray of light shines on the eye, the narrator's obsession reaches its peak and he lunges at the old man, suffocating him with his bed and dismembering the body. After concealing the corpse beneath the floorboards, the narrator hears a persistent, persistent thumping sound, which he believes is the old man's heartbeat. The sound intensifies, tormenting him and driving him to confess his crime to the police. He invites the officers to search their premises, confident that they won't discover any evidence. As the investigation progresses, the narrator becomes increasingly agitated, tormented by the in Sestant sound of the heartbeat, which he believes is growing louder. Consumed by guilt, he finally breaks down and confesses to the officers, revealing the location of the body. To his surprise, the police officers claim they haven't heard any sound. The narrator's guilt overwhelms him, and he becomes convinced that the beating heart he hears is his own. The relentless tension and psychological torment brought on by the guilt ultimately lead to his mental collapse and descent into madness. Okay. There you go. So it's again like a story about delusion and shit. Yeah, it yeah. is. Okay, then I, I guess it was just real because mm -hmm. I mean, what they're telling here that the heart was put into the man, right? Into the man? Wait, the, which one? The old man, right? That's what happened to the girlfriend then. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, to me, the I think the reason it's a bit 
weird right now is because we also just had the whole part of Roderick that he was like that he said that he had dementia and that he was mm-hmm. not doing that well. He wanted to kill himself. Yeah. And then the the line which just confused me is where she was like, "I wish you would have jumped." Yeah. And I'm like, she can't know that. So it also felt like it was a delusion from Roderick. Yeah, exactly. And then all of a sudden she died. And yeah. I don't know. It it felt very, I don't want to say rushed, but just like it. I didn't expect it. No, same. But not in a good way, I guess. Like, no. It just it was very sudden. That's the word. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to feel about this. But no. I mean, it was a cool episode again, and the whole like plot mm-hmm. twist and mm-hmm. the girlfriend just being dead. Actually, the whole episode. It it reminds me of the Hannah storyline. Yeah. True. So that was really cool. Just another yeah. plot twist like that. Uh huh. Um, but just her dying, like Fick dying herself, was just really sudden indeed. Yeah. And that like, just felt a little weird. Like I'm maybe a little shocked about it right yeah, now. Yeah. Like. Dare I say, a little disappointed? Yeah, I got that. Same. You know, it's Hannah. She's so (laughs) deserving of the worst death. (laughs) That sounds so bad. (laughs) But like the coolest. In a good way. The coolest death. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. Yeah, because now it was just like, oh shit, I killed my girlfriend. Okay, time to kill myself. Yeah, it was like... I really thought they would put the heart in her and it would be like really fucked up and all. Yeah, me too. And then maybe, I don't think they're going to do it later, but... No, because who's no. going to do it? Because they're like both Hannah and oh, Vic. <laughs> Vic. Vic and I think her name was Val. They're both yeah. dead. So there's no hard pudding anymore. No hard pudding. No. It's, it's over. It's all gone. <laughs> so yeah, that was our reaction to this episode then, I guess. Yes. Um, I'm still, I'm also thinking about just the storyline from Roderick. Like, I feel like it kind of progresses over the episodes as well. Yeah. And, I mean, we still haven't seen Madeline. No. And the way he's constantly like, she's in the basement. And then suddenly he's talking to the wall. And there's a lot going on with walls in, in yeah. this show. Yeah, she is so in the walls. I kind of feel like it too. Yeah. It made me think of the the last episode with Leo. When you yeah. saw the corpse in the wall. Yeah. And, I don't know, it kind of reminded me of that. Because that was probably Carla then. Yeah. But maybe that also happened to Madeline. And she's just been dead all along and roaming. Yeah. Maybe she's just in a relationship with Inferno. <laughs> ah, the a- happy ending we deserve. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe she's also just also just like walking around through the house as a ghost. I don't know. Yeah. I d- we of course don't know for sure if she's dead, but I no, really no, have no. a feeling like she is because we haven't seen her anymore yeah. in the future. She's just so shady. Yeah. Like, she's just there all the time and she's being weird in a good way. Yeah, but but... Like, I love it. I but... love it, but... <laughs> Slay queen. But... Yeah. yeah. And also uh. Juno. We also haven't seen Juno anymore. And like I said before, I can't remember no, if, she was a... if she was at the funeral or not. No, so... I am actually pretty sure she was oh, at she the was? funeral. Oh, she was? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe something happened to her after or... Maybe Roderick just wanted to be alone. We don't know where this is going, but lots of theories. Yep. So, so many. Um, yeah, that was our reaction to this episode. Yeah. Like I said, if you already want to see more, check out my Patreon. Subscribe to Safi's channel. And uh, let me know what you thought of this episode. Three more to go, right? Yeah. Um. Yep. So I think next episode is going to be Tammy's episode then. Yeah. Because they have been going from young to old. Yeah. Tammy has got to be next because she is now uh, getting the 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 goes. Like, she's been seeing things now. Yeah. So it's kind of leading up to her being the next True. victim. And we haven't seen anything from Frederick yet. So, no, like, he's not seeing her yet. Other than he's being a total absolute legend. <laughs> <laughs> I like Frederick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, I also want to see how, how it goes with his wife. Like, is she going to be able to talk yeah. again? And... True. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that was it. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. So leave a like if you like this uh, episode and subscribe. And then we hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.